if you want to hear, want to hear an inspiring word that will get you through your day. If you want to build your faith, your faith grow in God's grace, God's grace. To have a better connection with Jesus Christ. So tune in to Good God's Morning. Good God's Morning. Good God's Morning. All right, I think we're good now. Good guys, want to tell you, I pray all is well with you this morning. Beloved, it's another day that the Lord has made, and we will, we shall. And that's right, we're going to rejoice and be glad in it. So, good guys, morning to all of you. Pray again that all is well with you. Beloved, let's get our scripture for <clears throat> this morning. This morning's scripture is coming from 1 Peter, y'all. Y'all, check this out. 1 Peter. 1 Peter 3, verses 3 and 4. 1 Peter 3, verses 3 and 4. And it says, Your beauty should not come from outward adornment, such as braided hair and the wearing of gold jewelry and fine clothes. Instead, it should be that of your inner self, the unfading beauty of a gentle and quiet spirit, which is of good worth in God's sight. Wow. Look at that. That's, that's, look, let me read it again. Your beauty should not come from outward adornment, such as braided hair and the wearing of gold jewelry and fine clothes. Instead, it should be that of your inner self. The unfailing beauty of a gentle and quiet spirit, which is of great worth in God's sight. Wow. Now, look, it's just the scripture, okay? This is the word of God, all right? This ain't me talking. This is the word of God. So, check it out. You know, me, myself, I personally don't like braids, don't like weave, don't like you know, makeup. If y'all see me, this is how you see me. This this is it. Pretty much all the time. Every every time you see me, this is this is it. I don't have no fingernail polish, no nothing, no nails, no nothing. You know, for my work, I can't even have it if I wanted to because it would break off and it hurt. I just, it's just me. Okay, this is how you see me. It's just me. All right? Now, listen. I see it this way. The Bible says, you know, these things, and I believe that the word is, is telling us from a standpoint that, you know, hey, <laughs> sorry, you know, I believe the Bible is telling us, like, you know, listen, hey, who who this writer is, I'm not sure who the writer is, um, I have to go back and look it up, the writer's saying, listen, sometimes we take too much 
pride, if I can say, in the outward, making the outward appearance look great, you know? And, I, and listen to me, listen to me, listen, okay? Because I know what some of y'all saying, some of y'all done got an attitude already. But just listen, listen, okay? Sometimes we take too much, we spend, you know, a whole lot of money. I was looking at a friend of mine, and I was like, you know, how much your products are? And she was selling wigs, and, you know, her product was like 200 and something dollars for a wig. And I'm like, are you serious? <laughs> you know, and... Then, like, braids, my daughter be buying stuff. And, you know, luckily, I, I'm grateful that my daughter can can do, you know, her, her you know, she braids her own hair, you know. But I, I took her one time to get it braided, and it was like $190-something dollars to have her hair braided. You know, listen, I get it. You know, I get it. And all I'm saying here is that sometimes we spend too much time in making our outward appearance look great. But what are the time, what is the time that we are investing in our inward hmm. what is the time that we are investing in our inward self? That which money can't buy. You know, the gentle spirit, the unfailing beauty whether I got on makeup or not I'm still fine you know I still look at myself in the mirror and you may see flaws you may see spots you may see this but I see a beautiful person that God has made I see a quiet spirit that doesn't get out of themselves because they understand that you know God's got this all under control so I don't have to be seen to be, I don't have to be heard to be seen. <laughs> My mama used to tell me all the time, young lady was meant, young ladies were meant to be seen and not heard. I never kind of understood what that meant, cause I was really a quiet person, you know. Um, and I didn't bother too many people. I didn't say too much. You know, I was just real quiet, you know. Stayed to myself. I had friends, you know. You know, everybody knew me. Church girl, you know. Uh, long hair. I always had this long hair. You know, skinny. I ain't, I ain't got no bit much bigger. Um, you know, and she was to tell me, you know, little girls are meant to be seen and not heard. All I'm trying to get you to see this morning is from the word context is that you must understand and look at yourself from a point where I'm beautiful even without this hair, my braids, it doesn't make me who I am. I'm beautiful without the wig, without the weave. I am beautiful and precious in the sight of God. It is what's on the inside of me that glows and shines a light so bright that attracts folks to me. <laughs> you can be the most finest woman on the planet, but if your attitude is messed up from the flow up, <laughs> if you loud and obnoxious and just, ah, ah, Can I help y'all young people out? Ain't no man. I don't even want to be around that. I don't want to be around nobody who's loud. All they more concerned about is their outward appearance than their inner beauty. Because you can be all dressed up on the outside and be so funky on the inside. That ain't cute. That ain't cute at all, okay? So God simply tells us this morning that he, sent, in essence, is making a, 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 um emphasis. If you look at the end part of the scripture, it says, 
which is of great worth in God's sight. What is of great worth in God's sight? He says, look above. He says, instead, it should be of that of your inner self, the unfading beauty of a gentle and quiet spirit, which is of great worth in God's sight. Take time to be holy. Take time and it ain't about no matter how much money you spend. If your inner self, first of all, if you ain't happy with yourself, uh, that's a big problem. And you can't look at yourself and say, I'm beautiful. That's a big problem. If you got to be loud <laughs> so you can get the attention, that's a huge problem. God is looking at your inner self. What do you see when you look in the mirror? Do you see someone beautiful, wonderfully made, that God orchestrated and developed? Ever think about that? Or do you see somebody who, who, whose hair needs to be longer or needs to have braids in order to look like everybody else? Don't you know that you weren't meant to be like everybody else? He made you specifically who you are, specifically who you are <laughs> for himself. And guess what? Anybody that don't like that, the way God made you, tell them bye. They don't deserve to be graced with your beauty. That's just my take on it. You know, I'm just saying. I hope y'all understand. I hope y'all get it, okay? Again, Jesus is saying beauty is not coming from the outside, but it comes from the inside. You got to love yourself, love whom God made you, and, and, and let that who you are and who God made you to be be the renaissance that rings throughout everywhere you go. Some of y'all spend a whole lot of money adorn, adorning yourselves. And people are still looking at you like, you still ugly. <laughs> Simply because of your attitude. Simply because of still how you carry yourself. And it ain't even about what's on the outside. It's all about what's on the inside. Spend time investing in yourself, the inner you, and watch what happens. That's what all that scripture, 1 Peter 3, 3 and 4 is saying. Okay, I think this maybe is for the younger crowd. I, th I think maybe our, our adults are beyond that now, but you know, who knows? I don't know. Let's pray. Father, we thank you, God, for your grace, your mercy this morning. We thank you for this opportunity just to pray and to commune with you. And Father, I pray that someone, anyone, will hear your inner meaning from this. That it's not about the outside. We look at the outside. And we spend money, a whole lot of money, unnecessary money, on the outside. And we don't even love ourselves on the inside. Father, help us to understand that you look at the inner, the concern about the inner, our most inner beauty, our most inner selves. But you look at us and you called us beautiful from day one. You looked at us and you made us and you created us with your perfect hand, saying that we were beautifully and wonderfully made. Without all the makeup, without all the extensions in the hair, without all the other stuff that we try to do to make ourselves look so much different from what you have originally made us. Father, I pray that you allow us to be happy with who we are, knowing that you made us, you created us, and when you made us, you looked at us and you said, mm, that is good. <laughs> 
because we were made in your image, lacking nothing but complete and wholeness. Father, we give you praise, glory, and honor this morning for your wonderful creations. God, we couldn't have done a better job ourselves. We just so, woo, woo. God, high five, God. We thank you. We ask you to bless us this day as we endeavor to do your will and not ours. Continue to keep us in your love and care. And God, bless those who are watching this morning. Bless who's watched this later. And God, bless those who may have already been on this morning. That they too understand that they have been beautifully and wonderfully made. And can't nobody tell them no different. That they don't need all the other extra stuff. But just the way they are is beautiful in your sight. God, we give you glory. We give you honor. It's in Jesus' name we pray. People of God said amen. Amen. And amen. All right. Good guys. Morning to y'all. Y'all have a blessed and a beautiful day. And we'll see y'all tomorrow, same time, same place for another good guys morning moment. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Y'all say good morning, Lady Karen. Good morning, Michelle Satcher. Good morning, Mika. Good morning, Keisha. Good morning. Good morning, Shelly. Good morning, Sister Barbara Gregg. Good morning, Sister Woods. Good morning, Sister Sanders. Good morning. All right. I think I said hello to everybody. Good morning, everyone. If I missed you, I'm sorry. Um, charge it to the phone and not to me, okay? All right. Good guys morning to y'all. Y'all have a blessing and a beautiful Thursday. Guess what? Two more days. <laughs> y'all pray my strength for the Lord, okay? Love you all. There's nothing you can do about it, and we'll see y'all tomorrow. Good guys morning. If you want to hear, want to hear an inspiring word that will get you through your day. If you want to build your faith, your faith grow in God's grace, God's grace. To have a better connection with Jesus Christ. So. Take